Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Derek Bros with Mint Press News. I'm here in New York City at the Justice in Focus Symposium looking at the evidence regarding 9-11 attacks. It's the 15th anniversary, and I have the pleasure of speaking with Dr. Leroy Holsey. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. So go ahead and tell everybody a little bit of your background first, and then we'll talk about what you're, what you're working on. Okay. So I'm a Professor Holsey. I'm a department chair of uh, civil engineering at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. I'm actually a registered structural engineer. Uh, I've been in practice for over 40 years. So anyway, I've done some, some uh, high-rise buildings and uh, as a special consultant. I worked on the Dean Dome as, in North Carolina as an example. And so as part of that and some forensic engineering experience I've had in the past, we were asked to uh, investigate uh, the possible collapse of World Trade Center 7 uh, at the University of Alaska Fairbanks by AE 9-11 Truth. And so uh, that's what I'm here for. Uh, we have uh, been working on this since uh, uh, May of 2015. And so uh, we're now in our uh, beginning of our second year and have uh, about six to eight months left to finish up the work that we're involved in. At this point, uh, we've got two. Uh, I have a PhD student working on it with me, and I have a doctoral research uh, postdoc working on it with me. And so uh, we've been doing this with uh, two different computer programs, finite element programs, and also SOLIDWORKS and um, AutoCAD to get a virtual structural system that will simulate the kind of things that we want to take a look at and possible modes of failure. Uh, we've already examined uh, the probability of the building coming down by fire, and it's our preliminary conclusions based upon our work to date that fire did not produce the failure at this particular building. That's, that alone right there is, you know, even though you're saying it's a preliminary finding, we still have just under a year to go before this, the, you know, you'll right. be done with the, right. the study. But that alone as a preliminary finding saying that World Trade Center 7 you know, did not collapse because of fire, goes against what we hear from the official government version of events. Your thoughts on that you know, preliminary finding? Well, our, our, our analysis, uh, we tried to uh, duplicate their work and, uh, and determine that there were several factors that involved that uh, should they have taken those things into account, they would have not gotten the solution they did. So at this point, I'm pretty confident that our work uh, definitely illustrates that the uh, the movements that they had predicted thermal expansion could not have occurred, and so that it was the cause, based on their their findings, of the beginning of the failure of that uh, particular column 79 on uh, on floor 13, uh, losing its bearing support and then progressively having failure problems all the way down, and losing and ending up with a large uh, lateral buckling problem. None of those things could in my view, have occurred because our analysis showed we've tried to duplicate that, tried to make it that that thing occur, and it just was not going to be possible using two different programs with two different researchers. So the study is going to go till April 2017, and then at that point you've said that you know you want to get a assemble a panel of experts and also submit it for peer review. Can you tell us more about that, the plans once it's completed? The, the idea is to take our, our findings and submit it to a peer review, academic peer review, uh, of those people that are not associated with the organization that are funding us to get an unbiased view uh, and, and, and criticize our work. And at that point, then we will respond to that, uh, make sure that we have everything taken care of properly. And at that point, we will uh, have it resubmitted to that peer review for final approval. And then at, in that, uh, once that's been done, then it's our intention to put it out for publication to, the, to peer reviewed journals. And how can the public at this point, we're at the 15th anniversary, you know, your study is definitely, it's, a, it's a historic in many ways. How can the people, the public that are here today and the people watching at home, how can they support and help? Well, I think anybody that wants to support this kind of work uh, probably can provide uh, financial support to the funding group that is paying the bill for us, which is uh, they're paying it to the university. And uh, A&E 911 Truth is, uh, I'm sure, would welcome any donations for that kind of effort. So, awesome. Anything else you'd like to leave the people with? Uh, well, I think uh, what's going to happen here uh, is we're, going, we're in the process of writing our, our third quarterly report, which 
will have in it the first two, the first quarterly report summary and the second quarterly report summary. That will then go for review uh, by the uh, by IAE 911 Truth. We will then, uh, <clears throat> once that's completed, they'll go on our website and also will probably go on AE 911 Truth's website so people then can read it and it'll be available. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.